Hi, it's Joy, and today we're going to be watching Superman and Lois, season one, episode nine, Loyal Subjects, with a K. Thank you so much, Darrell, for sponsoring this show. I've absolutely loved the first episode, and I'm really excited to watch it. Let's go. Why Smallville? The weird kryptonite rocks. Rex kryptonite, use that machine I saw that gives people powers. Yeah, I know that's part of it, but... And there are a lot of vulnerable people. Around. He was only in case of... Clark's a great reporter. He now, is? not coaching, he can help the information we can from Lana. She is playing a risky game. Has recruited. Why? I know your life hasn't been easy the past few years. I know the pain you're in. And so you're a desperate person that I'm going to take advantage of instead of actually helping. Burden and that stress. Taking advantage of people. With my assistant, if you'd like me to. So are they giving these people powers, or are they making them Kryptonians and getting rid of Emily? The process you go through days before you're fully in control. Once that happens, poor Emily and all the other people he's taken advantage of. Do you want to become your best self, Emily? You're a monster. What is hitting it for him? I do. My change I see is how happy they are. Like they're truly excited to be there. To be a part of something, to change their lives. What is he it's, doing? With they're meeting publicly, openly. Self improvement. I mean, if I can keep Edge from hurting just one person, it's worth You're it. a good person, Lana. Stay safe. Hey, we'll see you later, okay? Yeah. Stop overcompensating and just be there when it counts. Don't ask. He's having some kind of personality crisis. I heard you're working at Edge Enercore. It has changed my life. It's a cult, that's for sure. Oh great, never a dull moment. Oh god. Are there some permanent side effects from him breathing in that kryptonite stuff? The like, fake kryptonite? Mildly concerned that it's gonna go beyond breathing and a bullet is gonna connect. Good job. General Lane. There he is. I, I just like to play dead sometimes. I got a bit tired. It was a long flight. I know this sounds insane because it is, but he wants to erase everything you are and mm -hmm. replace it with something else. You've tipped your hand that you know everything. If he didn't already know that we knew everything. Well, that was desperate. I have to say, this story has holes even by your standards. We both know it's the truth. My experience. I know, but what is this going to trigger? Does she want him to act out, or? Believe, uh... These people are not puppets to be controlled by you. They Edge doesn't do care. Do Billionaires never families. care. No one's being forced to do as prophesied. Superman is nothing like them. <laughs> I'm excited to find out. Thing is, Clark would never support taking over bodies of people. He might be kind of like conflicted a little bit in the sense of like wanting to get to know some of the Kryptonians, but they're taking over people's bodies and minds and controlling them. If they were going into like recently dead people, it would still be, you know, sad and kind of violating, but it would also be like, well, the body wasn't being used anymore. But taking bodies and lives from real people who are still alive and still have a future is disgusting. Ask Sarah why she's warning you away from this girl. Uh, hey, uh, like, is there a reason? I, I was just wondering if, like, maybe... Trying to be nice. Yeah, right. Um, look, I wasn't trying to hurt your feelings or anything. Okay, so maybe she wasn't it's, it's, uh, being mean? Sorry. I don't know. It's my bad. Oh my god, what happened? I went to stop the same I got hit. Do they use kryptonite? No, oh, regular bullets. <laughs> His tone of voice. It bruise, especially not from bullets. Bless you. Oh God. Oh God. Jordan, I... Is he gonna miss the recital because he's having eye sneezes? Oh no. So did he get home? You're infected too. Oh dear, no, I'm not infected. This wasn't supposed to happen. Of course. Really? Because it sure seems like a weapon does- It was only meant as a last resort. I, I don't like it, but I get the concept of a last and resort. Why is my son sick? Sarah, I don't think it's about you. I'll find him. Okay, well, hurry up, because I think I'm the first one up. I'm sure if you said, look, my- 
the company is not here, they put you on a bit later. We've known each other since the fifth grade, you can trust me. Lana, do you yeah. have a moment? You can't be asking these questions. See you later. So sinister. It seems. You put me in charge of the young executive program. I should at least know what it's really about. An offer I made her. The same one I'm about to make right now. Oh God. Don't say yes so you can figure out more, okay? The answer you give will impact the rest of your life. Fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck. I believe that you were trying to do the right thing. And I honestly, naively thought that once I had a family, you might change. Start putting us first. I mean, it's kind of true that he should be able to know that he knows Clark very well now. But, Knowingly, like, you can think your child is with someone who's a great person and then turns out they're shit. You don't always know people. And willingly I don't like that I'm kind of understanding love, them having the secret anti-Superman stuff. That. I don't like it. So when this is over, I want you to leave and never come back. Fuck. I also don't think he should have been making it secret. Like, yes, maybe Superman could have figured out where it was and gone to get it. But as things stand, all he'd have, if he had gone evil, all he'd have had to do is look at the DoD and be like, oh, there's a lead-lined area. I'll go there and destroy that stuff. Or... We're gonna oh. have to burn the kryptonite out of your system. Oh God! How? With heat. Yeah. Hey, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is oh. the only way. Okay. You never want to do anything that causes your kid to fear and pain. You know, oh, yeah. baby. You okay. You're gonna squeeze as hard as you need to. Okay. Oh. You can do this. Mom, this is this isn't on you. It isn't. And I keep failing at it. Oh. No, it's impossible to keep kids from you all were danger. Gun down. Why is it so hard to keep you safe? Because they're little human beings running around. For being a super family, I guess. Hmm. Give him a hug, yeah. Yeah, figure something out. Time for you to get on that stage and help your daughter. He explained everything to me. It all makes perfect sense. Thank you. Yeah. Don't tell me she's been brain swapped. Oh, does she have any backing? Sweetie. Sorry, I, I can't do this. Yes, you can. It's just like piano, okay? Oh, this see, turning up when it's most important is a good sign. I love to watch her actually enjoy herself as she does this. Well done, sweetie. You did it! And your dad saved the day. She got to have a really beautiful moment with him. Oh. But the minute his powers surface, you and him began walking two very different paths. Stop it. Okay. They've always been walking two different paths because they're individuals. Yes, those paths will be closer together, but those paths what got different when he became good at sport and Jordan didn't like sport. Their paths became different if Jordan liked maths and he preferred English. You know, like what? They, it's life. Stop trying to drive your grandkids apart. They're their own individuals and they should know it. I can never be scared of my family. Sweet baby boy. No matter what powers they might have. Oh. So are they only in charge some of the time? Smells weird. Yeah. Mm hmm Wait, Kyle. The only person she's really here to see. Have you seen this? Not him. The one he protects. Oh god. Oh god. That's it. That's it. It's over. That's it. It's over. You're done. Hey, you did it, okay? You hey. did so hey. good. I'm proud of you. Effective. So you need to stay here, please. I have it. Oh God. I just like. Oh God. Or something. I mean, it's like she was. She was someone else. Yeah, she's here. Yes. No, you won't, sweetheart. I guess this is what Edge meant. I think it's for you. Oh, is I'm worried. Mm-hmm. And now one of her babies is in danger again and she's in danger. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. They should have multiples of those around the house and in their pockets. So that's why they build the prototypes, because if there are other bad Kryptonians as well, it's just Superman. Sweetie. Sookie's weapons? Of course this child did. I just sent people to kill me. It's not gonna happen. I'm very concerned that Kyle has also been possessed. Targets first. Targets plural? And it feels like, huh? You never want to watch your kid go through that. Sorry, Jordan. You have nothing to be sorry about. My life right now is completely changed because of who I am. You didn't ask for any of this. Neither did you. But you didn't ask for what happened to you either. Exactly. They're such a lovely family. Oh my god. Fuck, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. The minute Sarah was saying that he'd been really happy and talking to her, I'm just... Oh god. Oh my god. He wanted you to suffer first. Oh my god. They're gone. Can we reverse what's been done to them? Please. I knew it had happened to Kyle. Wasn't there to protect you the way a parent should. Parenting is not easy. You were today. Mm -hmm. Couldn't let him hurt my grandson. In my old car. You, the boys, Clark, Smallville. It's my priority. Good. Because that war John Henry Irons was talking about? It is here. I think it's about to happen. Avery Fan's mom and Mr. Cushing? Right, but it wasn't them. You know, they were super, super brainwashed. Yeah. We need to unbrainwash them. was sending a few people to go look for them both. Oh, no. What happened? Are you drunk? No. Sure. So they send them Are out when they're all happy cool. and everything's great and then they get... No. Activated. I, I told you I am done. And, and I don't know how I got there. I don't know what's going on. What? The steps you're taking to improve yourself. Yes. Are they joining Edge's That's leadership I team? You an offer? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We are screwed. I, I wanted to be. Oh, he genuinely was trying. That's the most heartbreaking part, is that it came from a genuine urge to be better. I found out they're both originally from Smallville. Whoa, no one recognizes them? Charles from New Carthage, Reno Rossetti's from Metropolis. So the only place in the world that has X kryptonite is also the only place that has people who've been exposed to it long enough to accept its effects. Yep. It's not Smallville that needs to build his army. It's the people. Yep, we figured it out. You can't make that happen any more than she can. You're outnumbered now. Has he also got a Kryptonian in him? How? When I arrived on this planet. When you arrived? Oh my goodness. I wondered. Time you learned the truth. This thing looked a little bit like the House of L symbol just swooped. But did he mean brother literally, or did he mean brother as in like, we are both Kryptonians and so we're all brothers? I absolutely adore this show. I adore the family. I adore every single character. Um, I was right. The minute at the beginning, Kyle was being, oh, hey boys, oh, thanks for helping out my daughter. And Sarah was like, yeah, he's been so happy and smiley recently. And we knew that's what was happening with all the people. I was like, oh, but I didn't want to believe it until obviously, yeah, um, very much did believe it then. It is, it's not great. 
there's got to be some kind of way we can purge these people of the souls that are in them like the ones that are alive the ones that have survived the transfer can we just get it out of them or are they lost causes are they dead um because that would be terrible for lana and for sarah and for the little one and for all of the other people who have been affected like this it makes sense you know edge being kryptonian i mean it, 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 it hadn't fully occurred to me until like obviously seeing him standing there in the, like the outfit crossed my mind probably every now and then but then like it's the kind of show where pretty much anybody I'm like, are they a secret kryptonian but it makes sense that's why he is reviving reviving kryptonian souls somehow that's why he's bringing them here and that's why he doesn't i mean i say that's why he doesn't care about ordinary people and values these little rock people more but billionaires don't care about ordinary people either way um but it adds even more of a reason why he doesn't care about anybody else and getting anybody else hurt and why he has a superiority complex so yeah it's a lot it is very interesting and i'm so excited to see where it goes next um within the family jordan i mean i'm sure if he just tells sarah he ate something bad and had like stomach troubles or kept throwing up or something maybe she'll think it was just nerves and won't fully believe him i feel like what she really needed was a text that was like oh my god i'm so sorry i can't stop throwing up or you know the nerves have got the better of me i'm so sorry i let you down rather than just completely leaving her hanging not even knowing where he was even when like jonathan went off to find him and then just never came back and it was so sweet when Kyle stepped up to help. So it makes me think, from what we saw, that the Kryptonians are inside of them. But as far as the human is concerned, they go in for this procedure. And then they wake up after the procedure. And they don't remember the time where someone is like, hello, I am a Kryptonian now. Um, so they just live their lives and they feel good about themselves. They feel healed. I guess any injuries they've had have like kind of been healed. And, you know, they're just stronger and just more capable than they have been before. Um, and then whenever he activates it, the Kryptonian comes out. And I guess the overall plan is for the Kryptonians to take over the Earth. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to hear Edge's pitch to Clark. I don't think it's going to work. Um, it was very, very stressful. Both for Lois having that moment of knowing that, you know, Jordan was terribly ill. And it was something her father had caused, sort of. And there was nothing she could do to help it. And then immediately having Jonathan placed in mortal danger again um and not being able to stop it and the fact that like someone specifically wanted to hurt her children to hurt her absolutely awful um jordan jonathan jonathan keeping the guns i don't i don't like weapons i don't like guns these at least seem to just stun kryptonian-esque people they don't kill them so maybe if we can have you know tranquilizer guns are better but at the same time we keep going up against these people that are so super powered and for both jonathan and lois they need to have some way to defend themselves um I liked seeing the general come in and step in and help save them as well. And then for Clark, just as a parent, having to put your child through pain to help them, seeing your child in pain, there is nothing worse. I mean, you know, it's bad enough giving a baby an injection when a baby, you know, doesn't know why you just made my arm hurt. Um, but for this, the kind of knowing, and Clark having been through it, knowing just how painful it is and knowing he's going to have to put his son through it. And his little boy saying to him, oh, Dad, I'm, I'm scared. Um, but he was there with them the whole time and they got through it and that's the important thing and so that moment when it just was too much for Clark I just loved it and I love the way in this show the parents don't hide all vulnerability from their children yes they don't then you know there, there are healthy ways you can tell talk to your children about things you don't have to tell them all of your worries and burdens but I just really really enjoy their relationships and I love the brother's relationship and I hope when Jonathan said I can never be scared of my family I hope that stays true I think we know both in their right minds, Clark and Jordan would never hurt a fly that wasn't an evil fly. Um, but obviously there's a danger of like red kryptonite or something else happening. I, t I am not, I hate the fact that the army have these kryptonian, anti-kryptonian weapons. But given that we are right now facing evil kryptonians, it does make sense that we would need those weapons. And, you know, I don't like the idea that they were made necessarily specifically to stop Superman. But if it was made to stop people like Superman, you know, we're potentially going to be facing an army of Kryptonian people with one Superman. We need a bit more support on our side. So I kind of get his point, but I also think he needed to maybe come clean about it with them. Once he knew Clark as well as he now does, once Clark was his son-in-law, father of his grandchildren, made his daughter deliriously happy. I mean, you never fully know somebody, even the person that your child is in love with, you might think, oh, they've made a good choice, this person seems nice, and then find out they're not. Who knows? So I, I kind of agree, but I don't agree. But I absolutely loved Jonathan's thing, and well, I'm never going to be scared of my family. I, I hope that stays true. 
was a lovely episode. Freaking stressful episode as well, which is kind of, I feel like, most episodes of this show. Thank you so much, Drell, for sponsoring, and thank you for watching.